all righty hey you guys what's good what's up welcome welcome back to the channel if you're new and it's your first time here hey i'm chanel i'm your resident movie watching bff you've clicked on my reaction commentary channel the channel where we watch movies together and i let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time i'm watching them that's the spiel i freaking love it we do it with a filmmaking perspective because that's my favorite way to watch that's my favorite way to watch a movie that is my favorite way to watch a movie and so i hope that you get something new out of the movies when you come to my channel so you can let me know you can be like great job or chanel i knew that already in which case i'll say good for you <laughs> i'm so annoying okay you guys today's video is oceans 11. i am so excited because if you know me i love movie stars i'm obsessed with movie stars i just am so fascinated by them i want to know everything i want to know your personal life i want to know that weirdo method actor who was weird on set. Like, I just love celebrities, man. So I know Ocean's Eleven is gonna be jam freaking packed with celebrities. I think right now I know it's definitely Brad Pitt. I, I don't know how much I wanna look up. My comprehension tends to be weird with like heisty type films. So you're gonna see me pay really close attention. Director Steven Soderbergh, he's made one of my favorite movies of all time, Aaron Brockovich, I think. Imagine I was wrong on that. I was so confident too. Favorite movie of all time, Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> yeah, Steven Soderbergh is just like, is it Soderbergh or Soderbergh? Okay, yeah, he has done Aaron Brockovich. So definitely familiar with that one. Ocean's Eleven is probably chronologically next for me. But yeah, heist film. Danny Ocean and his 10 accomplices plan to rob three Las Vegas casinos simultaneously. It's gonna be fun and exciting. And I see Clooney, Pitt, and Julia Roberts. I think that I'll stop there. I won't scroll anymore. So, um, Ocean's Eleven, I don't, yeah, beyond that, it's gonna be a heist film with celebrities and an ensemble piece. And I'm just really excited to pay attention to the script and how everything kind of fits together. I think that 2001, it's gonna be like peak, like snazzy dialogue, or at least I hope, I hope this is like that action movie dialogue. And yeah, I'm hoping for like, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. Or just, you know, like, like, like zesty lines. I don't know. No, that was a bad example. But I'm trying to think what else. Gambling, drugs, maybe sex. I don't know. <laughs> it's only PG-13. So, I mean, I don't like to drag these out. I don't like to anymore. If you want more from me, Patreon is in the description box below. I have a PO box. If you made it this far in my intro, then you might want to throw me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be dope. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video, which is Ocean's Eleven from the year 2001. Was there a reason you chose to commit this crime? Is it likely you'd fall back into a similar pattern? Just rob a couple casinos, no big deal. <laughs> I love that already. It's such a good punchline for movies. He doesn't say a word. Camo just lingers on his thinking face. We fill in the blanks. And it becomes a nice little joke. Isn't it Tux leaving prison? Jersey! Guys, there's gotta be no truth to that opening where when they're about to release you, they ask you, are you gonna do it again? There's, like, there's no way they ask you that. <laughs> right? Like, what are you supposed to say? Yes, I will. 20. Bernie Mac. Dealer has nine. Hello, Frank. I beg your pardon, sir. You must have me confused with someone else. My name is Ramon. Thanks, Ramon. Frank. Frank Cadden can't get past the gaming board. You just got out? This afternoon. No, sir, I haven't been getting any trouble. Not yet. I wouldn't even think about leaving the state. <laughs> oh, Brad Pitt, man, he's got such swagger this man he is just oh so interesting and always eating that's a joke well okay if you're not you should really think about it because i was talking to my manager last night Topher grace Bernie. i'd have to pay you by check let's or we could just stick to cash good idea mm -hmm. yes is this what Topher grace did when he left that 70s show it's not blackjack <laughs> shane west i used to love shane west you guys is he like leading a group? Is he like teaching them what to do? Oh, hey, Russ, uh, we got another player. If that's cool with you. Mm. 
Don't let him fool you. There's boatloads. If you can move them. My fence seemed confident enough. You're dealing in cash. You Do don't... they know each other? Or are they just have a rivalry? That's right, Topher. Today's lesson, how to draw out the bluff. That... So they're playing themselves. He called the other, he called Jane West Shane. He called Topher Topher. Yes. What's the target? Eight figures each. What's the target? When was the last time you were in Vegas? Three casinos. I love Brad Pitt. He's so cool. A Boski, a Jim Brown, uh, a Miss Daisy, two Jethro's, and Leon Spinks. Is this code? I have no idea what he's saying. Guys, what's the plus of robbing three in a night? Like, why don't you stagger it? Why don't you put some months in between? Is it just more exciting for the movie? Or because you don't want anyone to be on your tail, so you do three in a night? Because yesterday I walked out of the joint after losing four years of my life and you're cold decking teen beat cover boys. Teen beat cover boys. Perfect hand comes along, you bet big, and then you take the house. A little bit, did I rush it? Felt like I rushed it. That was good, I liked it. <laughs> Snazzy dialogue, you've been practicing? Yeah, practice a little bit. They got cameras, they got watches, they got locks, they got timers, they got more. <laughs> this guy's necklaces. Number three, the bronze medal. He got two steps closer to the door than any living soul before him. I was about to say, that's not very successful. And the closest any man has ever come to robbing a Las Vegas casino. They conquered. Oh my God, take my breath away playing. Those are Terry Benedict's casinos. What do you got against Terry Benedict? Oh, wow. They're going to like use that personal vendetta to get him. And you're going to need a crew as nuts as you are. I got just the guys. Who do you got in mind? <gasps> waiting, sweetheart. Just waiting. Good. Go. Wait. Is that? K That's Casey Affleck? Electronics. Livingston Dell. Love this. That is like a surveillance camera. Zoom, pan, zoom. Waving it around? Hey, Radio Shack. Relax. Good line. Hey, Radio Shack. Dialogue is not disappointing so far. I'm in. Yes, um. Hang on to your niggas. Oh my god, I'm blanking out on him. <sighs> It'll come to me by the end of this movie. You tossers! You had one job to do! One of what I appreciate about, appreciate about this movie, no opening credits, so it didn't spoil the lineup for me, and I'm very excited about that. Who else is on the list? He is the list. I don't know, it doesn't seem all that different. <laughs> also a good punchline. I got a duplex now. I got wall to wall and a goldfish. Tell me what the scam is. Oof, confidence. Just hand him some plane tickets, it looked like. He hasn't changed one bit. He's a duplex now. Saul makes 10. 10 ought to do it, don't you think? No. You think we need one more? 11. You think we need one more? <laughs> All right, we'll get one more. Love it. Doesn't say, have to say a word. We'll get one more. Chicago. Who are you? Friend of Bobby Caldwell's. You're either in or you're out. Right now. I need to hear the job description, bro. That's the best lift I've seen you make yet. Las Vegas, huh? America's Playground. I love it. This movie is not wasting its time. We know what we're here to do. It is fast. It is get the team together and get me to Vegas, you know? All right, before we get started, nobody's on the line here yet. Otherwise known as the Bellagio, the Mirage, and the MGM Grand. Together, they're three of the most profitable casinos in Las Vegas. This place houses a security system that rivals most nuclear missile silos. Now, there are 11 of us, each with an equal share. Say we get into the cage and, and through the security doors there and past the guards with the guns and into the vault we can't open. Without being seen by the cameras. The voice of our audience right here. Please help me out. We're just supposed to walk out of there with $150 million in cash on us without getting stopped? Yeah, what's the plan, bros? Yeah. Oh. Put it up your ass. <laughs> this movie's funny. 
We went through at 1044. 1046. Get a watch that works. Get a watch that works. I like this. I like this. We're not just going to do it. You know, we got to really plan. Let's gather information. On the night of the fight, we're going to throw the switch on Sin City. Basher, it's your show. <laughs> that smile. It's so goofy. Yeah, the camera is like um, a surveillance camera. They're zooming. They're doing zooms and zooms. Quick, you guys. Ah, oh, split screen, I love. And we're up and running. I'm gonna need you to move you the saloon now. You know what, I'll move the circus. Fool around with you two circus animals. He wiped his sweaty ass head. How's reception on those things? Excellent. Take care. Wow. Give us a little scare scare. 40 minutes in. We need to build an exact working replica of the Bellagio Ball. To practice. Well, I am sorry, but uh, 18.5 a piece is the best offer that I can. Did them like a jean. Yes, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> just like the jean. <laughs> Man, you got some lovely hands here. Do you moisturize? Guys. Say seven. Sixteen? Uh, each? No. Yes, sir. You do that. Well, yes, sir. I mean, that'd be lovely. They told me to come see you. Oh, did they? Well, I, I'm sure. That worked, really? Just squeeze his hand really hard and flatter him with his skin softness? Zerga. My name is Lyman. Rehearsal. We love it. Is Lyman Zerga. Better. That, that's the best one. Best take so far. Contents, the day's take, and new security codes. Whoa. This feels like an impossible job. I'm getting stressed. Come from museum up there. She's a curator. Who's the girl? It better be Julia Roberts, because I'm tired of waiting. This is just the best. Yeah! Wow! Finally! My God, they made me wait too long for that. That was rude. Oh, great hair. How do I get hair like that? Yikes friends. Terry Benedict, tell me this is not about screwing the guy who's screwing your wife. Ex-wife. Tell me it's not about that. Noser. It's not entirely about that. Russ, do you remember when we first got it? Oh, the stakes just got that much better. It's personal. Oh, this is so great. This is so great. How'd she look? She looked good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that timing had she she looked good she looked good it's fast it's fast <laughs> this is fun this one's fun <gasps> i know that guy that's um you like it is that andy garcia i don't believe in weakness it costs too much Classic. Up. Almost 200. Good for him. Okay, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. He's a player. Ah, oh, Julia. Was this pre or post Aaron Brockovich? It's Danny. Hello, Tess. Knew it. I'm out. Of prison. I don't have a husband, or didn't you get the papers? My last day inside. I told you I'd write. Told you I'd write. Papers. Monet. Now, which one married his mistress? Monet. Right. And then Monet had syphilis. They also paint it occasionally. Mm -hmm. I'll make this quick. She does scathing so well. Also, these two did a movie together recently. Ticket to Paradise. I love watching them fight. It's the best. I'm with Terry now. Does he make you laugh? Terry doesn't seem funny. Doesn't make me cry. I'll put her in the house safe. The house safe is for Brandy and Grandmother's pearls. I need something more secure. You want to make a life with someone else? Fine. I'm going to have to live with that. But not him. Danny was walking through the restaurant and spotted me. Is that right? Yeah, imagine the odds. Odds. As if he didn't <laughs> set it up. Good to see you, Tess. Take care, Danny. Terry. Danny. <laughs> Tension. 
Terry. Danny. They did a really good job with their backstory. Like, I want to know what happened between Danny and Tess. It went down, down. I mean, I know he was a criminal, basically. From this point, we have 30 minutes to blow the power or he suffocates. Or he suffocates. God dang, not enough oxygen in those vaults. Yikes. Automatically shut down for two minutes. Contortion. <gasps> wow. Barney Rubble. Trouble. We could use a pinch. So when a nuclear weapon detonates, it unleashes an electromagnetic pulse which shuts down any power source within its blast radius. It could pinch, knock out the power of an entire city. Yeah, I think it might. <laughs> There's only one pinch in the whale big enough to manage it. Do tell. Okay, all right. Wow, I feel, I just feel like I'm learning stuff. I'm learning. All right, start. Okay, go ahead, I got one. That's what these movies do. They make it look easy. <laughs> so am I touching you? Am I touching you? Hands right in front I'm of not touching. I'm not touching you. Remember that? Where's Linus? Cool shot. Camera moves in and they all stick their heads in like that. Jump. Let him in. You Go. stupid bastard! Almost compromised the whole mission. I'm confused. Why'd he get out? You've been red flagged. I'm sorry. I didn't know if it would sting you, but it did. Kid, you up for it? Kid. Curtain goes up at seven. Tess is with Benedict now? She's too tall for him. <laughs> Good. Surely he must have HBO. Getting close to the fight night, you guys. Come on. I'm excited to see how much of the movie the actual mission is. It's got to be like 40 minutes. I ask you a question, you have to think of the answer. Where do you look? No good. Hi. You go, hmm. <laughs> and up, they know you don't know the truth. Be specific, but not memorable. Be funny, but don't make him laugh. He's gotta like you and then forget you the moment you've left his side. Sure. Oh, I was loving that advice. Funny, but don't make him laugh. Memorable, make him forget you. This is exciting. Zerga? Saul Bloom, is that you? Saul! Saul, it's me! Fucking Buchanan! Remember from Saratoga! Ugh. Is he about to blow his cover? Good meal. Hey! Hey! Oh, yikes. All right, Mrs. Zerga, I acknowledge that your briefcase does not contain any dangerous or illicit material, and I cannot actually allow you to accompany the briefcase no, into the vault. Why not? Insurance for one, security another, but most of all, I just don't trust you. Most of all? Hmm. Why that? Why the car freshener? Is that just to be funny? I want to say this movie has that teal and blue color scape that a lot of movies in the two, early 2000s had. I think it's very common, but this one's subtle. But yeah, it's teal and orange. This is orange. Do you see the color? I'll monitor your briefcase right from here. Don't let me keep you. Mrs. Erga, you still got to it. Was that the plan to get Danny Ocean to distract him away? Because I thought they wanted to keep Danny off the floor. But this all seems very deliberate, so I'm just going to go with it. Chanel just... Except to move on, baby. Counting down. 30 minutes of breathing time starts now. Oh, that was what they meant about the oxygen. I forgot that that space was that small. No, Dan. No. I want you I out of here. One moment. No, I had it with you. No matter what it is, you won't win me back. Tess, I just came to say goodbye. She is not going to let you. Okay. All right. Cheek. Ooh, she still likes him a little bit. Did you see that look? Mr. Benedict would like to see you. <sighs> Mr. Benedict, I'm afraid you've been employing an ex-convict. 
As you know, the NGC is a goddamn cracker. <laughs> Sit down. You better talk to him. This is stressful. There, there's your briefcase now, Mr. Zerga. What wonderful. Chill, buddy. Oh, they are all sweating. The makeup artist was there spritzing people. Whoa. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so impressed. Wow. <gasps> They put it on top. All right. Ah! Not until later. Sorry, Danny. I, I forgot. It's all right. Oh, Jesus! Now you really didn't think I was gonna sit this one out, did you? What? You didn't trust me? <laughs> this is insane. I don't know how anybody writes this. Sorry. We've lost him. Had enough yet? I guess this is the point where I'll start to say, I, I think they get it. I think they do pull it off. Yeah, yeah, it's that kind of movie, right? They're gonna do it. They're gonna pull it off. But then they then they gotta go into hiding forever, I feel like. Oh, I don't want this job. It's a no for me, dog. Now, how long do they got on this thing? 30 seconds? <laughs> oh, that's so intense. Go, 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 go. All right, crack them. Glow sticks. Go, go, go. I'm scared. Go, let go. Let go, let go, let go. Oh, my fingers are being eaten alive under here. I'm just picking at them. Be careful, be careful, be careful. In theory, he didn't know about that, right? About that being on top. How we doing? Okay. Yes. Let's get him out. Yeah. <laughs> Dialogue, baby. Ten cents is short, sir. No bet. <sighs> I kind of overdid it. Uh oh. What? 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 What is he stuck to? Do not blow the door. Two. Oh, I hated that. Don't f with me like that. It really pisses me off. It's gonna go. It's gonna go at a random time. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They all bet. They were gonna really just mess with me there. What the f you bet? <laughs> So nonchalant, such high stakes. This movie got jokes, baby. Oh. May I have a word with Mr. Benedict? Who the hell is this? The man who's robbing you. We, we clue him in now? Hold, just wait until you got the money, baby. Yeah, but this, why are you doing it this soon? I'm pissed. As your manager's probably reporting to you now, you have a little over 160 million in your vault tonight. You let our 80 million go, and you get to keep yours. That's the deal. You can lose 80 million dollars tonight secretly, or you can lose 160 million dollars publicly. It's your decision. Hi. That was the plan this whole time. Three of your guards will pick up the bags and carry them out into the casino. Staying in your hotel. I have two words for you. Mini bar. 
Was that an insult? <laughs> Mini bar. All right. Now. I guess they needed him to carry it out. So they had to clue him in now. <sighs> They're trying to give me a heart attack, honestly. Hide. If you should be picked up next week by a $100,000 sports car in Newport Beach, I'm going to be... I was going to say, they're going to have to go and hide him forever. So they, they blew. They did detonate. So now they just got to get away away. Lovely. Okay. But now we've blown the money. They say the bags were filled with flyers, sir. For hookers. No. What? Cue up the tape to the robbery. No. <gasps> I don't understand. We had it installed on Tuesday. It was staged. Somebody made a duplicate of my vault. And what we saw on the monitor wasn't actually happening. The SWAT team? Oh my god, oh my god. One emergency response. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> Guess who 911 is, baby. Stage that up, okay. <laughs> Remember, we lingered on that and I was like, why? It was that car. Wow. He's, he better be in there. That's his alibi, it was there the whole time. <laughs> oh God. Did I have my hand in what? What happened? Um, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. What happened, Benedict? Did you get robbed or something? If you give up, Tess, what would you say? Yeah, do it. I would say yes. <gasps> Doesn't love her. And that hurts worst of all. Boom roasted. Holy shit. Oh my god. Tess. In your hotel, there's always someone watching. Good little jab for her. Heck yes. <laughs> the golden light on their faces. <laughs> they walk out looking like assassins. <laughs> Tell me she runs back to Danny though, that'd be weird. Wait, that's my cousin. All that to get her to see that he didn't love her? Yes, I told you. Ugh. Three to six months, I guess. Just for leaving the state, probably. That's all they can get him on. Wow. All that for a girl. Okay, I see you, Hollywood. One, two, three, four, six. <laughs> There's seven, nine, ten, and eleven's in the back of a cop car. <laughs> the ending is so romantic. All the shallow lens work and the score. <laughs> Perfect symphony. I just got a little bit of chills. They did it perfectly. <laughs> oh, yes! Epilogue, baby. He gets out. Brad Pitt's enjoying some food. Tucks again. Implying that he just came from a gig. 13 million and you drive this cross country to pick me up? Tess, she back there? He 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 he. You said that you sold this. I said She a liar. Liar. Cards are tailing him. He's being watched. Does that set the stage for Ocean's 12? 
Ocean's Eleven from 2001. I have now seen it. I think we know that. That was just fun, right? That was a doozy. I liked that. That is a movie that I would have loved to have seen in theaters um, back in the day. So you're definitely, definitely going to have to let me know if you saw that in theaters. Because that's a blockbuster. That's like why I go to the movies, you know? It was so fun. It's a movie, to, it's a movie about like the how. How are they going to pull this off? And I think it's everyone's like fantasy that they are a... Uh, it's not, it's not your fantasy in that you want to do it, but I think everyone just wonders, like, could I, could I rob a bank? Could I, could I get away with this? So it's just the snaz, the dialogue, the finesse, the, the acquiring of the team and the watching them pull it off. And then the one-two punch on Andy Garcia. It's just great, you know? It's just fun. This is just unadulterated fun and I enjoyed myself and it did not disappoint with that dialogue. I thought it was very funny. Oh my god, finally, Don Cheadle was uncredited. Why? Uh, that is the part that really threw me on this movie. Oh my god, it's over a dispute in his billing. Cheadle won it above the title billing alongside Clooney, Matt Damon, and Brad Pitt when he was refused, he refused to be credited at all. <gasps> Let's see some trivia. Entire cast worked for less than their salary to bring down the budget. Yes. This is a movie where a lot slash probably all of the budget went to stars. I messed up. Oh my god. That was the one I... Oh my god. So Carl Reiner. Guys, I had no idea that that was Saul. That was Carl Reiner. This fact is really funny to me. George Clooney sent the script to Julia Roberts with a $20 bill attached and said, I hear you make 20 a picture now. Which, um was a reference to her being the highest paid actress in Hollywood at the time. So I think that that's funny. And I love that relationship, Clooney and Roberts. Um, I love when they work together. The pickpocket, Matt Damon's character, was originally for Mark Wahlberg. These guys are duking it out for the same roles all the time. Steven Soderbergh said that the film was an opportunity to give audiences pleasure from beginning to end. He wanted it to be a movie that you just surrender to without embarrassment and without regret. That's how I felt. Good job, man. Yeah, so Don Cheadle's uncredited despite re his um, major role. Lead cast members lived at the Bellagio during filming, each in separate 7,000 square foot villas. Whoa. Yeah, so Rusty Ryan is teaching teen idols to play poker. All the actors are actual teen idols. So the only two I noticed were um, Topher Grace and Shane West. But there were others. Holly Marie Combs of Charmed, Joshua Jackson of Dawson's Creek, Missed Him, and Barry Watson of Seventh Heaven. I'm dead. Matt Damon said the scene at the fountain was the last thing they shot and oddly emotional. I felt oddly emotional. It didn't really make much sense. I'm like, why am I having an emotional reaction in chills right now? Estimated that 25 to 30 percent of the Bellagio Casino was used by the production at any given time. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't um, say anything about it because this looked like this looked like the Bellagio. This looked like Vegas, baby. Oh, I wouldn't have known this. The scene where Brad Pitt teaches Joshua Jackson and Topher Grace to play poker is spoofed in the Taco Bell commercials, Rules of the Table, and King of Clubs. The commercials were meant to be so accurate that the very same card table used in the film was tracked down and rented for them. Wow, so Taco Bell spoofed this movie. This movie had a moment, didn't it? I was gonna say, Don Cheadle does not have an English accent. A London English accent. Damn, a lot of name talent were considered to play a lot of these roles. Johnny Depp was considered for Linus. John Rickles was an early choice for Saul. I do want to guess the budget. Yeah, just like a very cool movie. I felt like the camera work was super active. The camera felt like a surveillance camera um, and it was snazzy. Snazzy camera to go with a snazzy, snazzy movie. And I'm gonna guess, all right, this budget was, okay, so I'm gonna guess this is a, a 90 to $100 million movie. I'm gonna say a hundred million dollar movie. 85 mil, 85 mil, and all of that went to salary. All right, so you've seen my thoughts on Ocean's Eleven from 2001, so sound off below. Did you catch this in theaters? I would love to know what you thought of it. I think that this would have been the perfect movie to go see in 2001, in December 2001, right around the holidays, big time for movies. This was a commercial success. Um, Steven Soderbergh is pretty great. And I think he had just gotten Julia her Oscar. Um, Patreon information description box below. PO box information below. We go live once a month. I really appreciate you being here with me today. And of course, as always on that note, I am going to go eat. <laughs>